Hi guys, today I will be telling you about Australia visa types and how you can apply for visa 482. Give me your attention and you may want to take some notes. If you are new please subscribe to my channel and like this video. You may want to share it as well. Overview of Australia Visa Types Australia offers various types of visas depending on the purpose of your visit. Here are some common categories. 1. Visitor Visas Subclass 600, Visitor Visa, for tourists, business visitors, or visiting family. Subclass 601, Electronic Travel Authority, for short-term visits for tourism or business. Subclass 651, E-Visitor Visa, for short-term visits, similar to ETA, but available to passport holders of certain countries. 2. Work Visas Subclass 482, Temporary Skill Shortage Visa, allows skilled workers to work in Australia temporarily when an employer cannot find a suitably skilled Australian. Subclass 186, Employer Nomination Scheme Visa, for skilled workers nominated by an employer for permanent residency. Subclass 494, Skilled Employer Sponsored Regional, Provisional, Visa, for skilled workers in regional Australia. 3. Student Visas Subclass 500, Student Visa for full-time students enrolled in an eligible course of study. Subclass 590, Student Guardian Visa, for guardians of international students under 18 years of age. 4. Family and Partner Visas Subclass 300, Prospective Marriage Visa for individuals intending to marry an Australian citizen or permanent resident. Subclass 820-801, Partner Visa, for partners or spouses of Australian citizens or permanent residents. 5. Skilled Migration Visas Subclass 189, Skilled Independent Visa, for skilled workers who are not sponsored by an employer or family member or nominated by a state or territory government. Subclass 190, Skilled Nominated Visa, for skilled workers nominated by a state or territory government. Step-by-step -step process for applying for Australia Visa 482, Temporary Skill Shortage Visa. Step 1, Ensure Eligibility. Before applying, make sure you meet the eligibility criteria. Skills you must have the skills and qualifications relevant to an occupation on the skilled occupation list. Work experience, usually, a minimum of two years of work experience is required in your occupation. Health and character, you must meet Australia's health and character requirements. English proficiency, you must have sufficient English language skills. Step 2. Get a job offer from an Australian employer. You need to have a job offer from an Australian employer who is willing to sponsor you. The employer must be an approved business sponsor. Nominate you for an occupation on the skilled occupation list. Step 3. Employer lodges nomination. Your employer will need to lodge a nomination with the Department of Home Affairs. This involves Choosing the correct stream, short-term, medium-term, or labor agreement. Providing details about the position, salary, and proof that they could not find a suitable Australian worker. Step 4. Gather required documents. You will need to prepare several documents for your visa application. 
Passport, a copy of your passport. Skills assessment, if required, a skills assessment relevant to your occupation. Qualifications, certificates or degrees relevant to your occupation. Work experience, reference letters or evidence of previous employment. English test, results from an approved English language test like IELTS, PTE, etc. Health and character documents, medical exams, police certificates, etc. Step 5. Apply for the visa online. Once the nomination is approved, you can submit your visa application online through the Department of Home Affairs website. Create an IMI account, if you don't have one, create an account on the Department of Home Affairs website. Fill out the visa application form, complete the form with your personal details, employment details, and other required information. Upload documents, attach the required documents to support your application. Pay the application fee. Pay the visa application fee online. Step 6. Attend health examinations. You may be required to undergo health examinations as part of the visa process. You will be notified if this is necessary after you submit your application. Step 7. Await decision. After submitting your application, it will be processed by the Department of Home Affairs. Processing times can vary, so check the latest estimates on the official website. Step 8. Receive Visa Grant If your application is successful, you will receive your visa grant notification. The visa will include details such as the visa conditions, duration of stay, and entry requirements. Step 9. Travel to Australia. Once your visa is granted, you can travel to Australia and start working for your sponsoring employer. Key points to remember. The 482 visa can be granted for a period of up to four years depending on the stream. You can include eligible family members in your application. You may have the option to apply for permanent residency after meeting certain criteria. Always refer to the official Department of Home Affairs website for the most up-to-date information and guidelines on applying for a visa.